Today started really early for me as I was woken up by my two cats who decided to have a bit of a screaming contest followed by a fight. And by early, I mean 3 a.m. I was trying to sleep a bit longer, but it didn't work out. I was neither asleep nor awake, so I decided to meditate a little and then it was time to get up to get my kids ready for school. When I came home, I cleaned the kitchen and went downstairs to the basement to do a lot of laundry. And I saw the whole basement covered with rainwater. So I had to work on that. I worked on pumping all this water out. It took about three huge shot bucks to get rid of most of the water, but it wasn't over and I had to do more later. So by the time all of that was done, I finally decided to have my breakfast. It was about 9 a.m. So I had a bit of a weird breakfast <laughs> this morning, but it filled me up for sure and gave me energy for the rest of the day. I had this slightly oxidized green smoothie <laughs> made of half grapes, half celery. I made it yesterday, that's why I was really happy. As some of you may already know, I do not drink coffee or black or green tea at all or any of those fancy matcha drinks. I have a video about it so you can check it out why I don't drink them. I also had a purple smoothie about 30 minutes after the green was done. It was about 32 ounces each. Yes, a lot. <laughs> and definitely filled me up. So I made the purple one with red grapes and blueberries. Both of these smoothies were not as smooth as I wanted. They were on the chunkier side. But that's okay because uh, that way I had something to chew. <laughs> After breakfast, I had to go run some errands. And then when I came back, I had to do more housework. And then I had my lunch, which was super yummy. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna have for lunch. I'm gonna have these delicious persimmons. They're in season right now, so they are in abundance. I love it. And I'm also gonna have just a few of these bananas. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these persimmons. Let me give it a taste test. These are for you persimmons. You can eat them when they are firm or you can eat them when they are soft. It doesn't matter. The other persimmon, the one that looked kind of bigger, that one has to be super kind of like mushy before you eat it. Otherwise, it, it just doesn't taste right. All right, so I'm just gonna go chop these up. Mmm, I'm so sweet and so juicy. I love it. I love persimmon so much. Mm -hmm. So good, guys. If you never tried it, you should definitely try it. They are delicious. Taste this banana. It's okay, but I think it needs to be more ripe. I'm gonna put this guy back in my fruit pantry. <laughs> I think this should be enough food for me for lunch. If I need more, I can always get more of my persimmons. I have a whole bunch. I bought a whole huge box yesterday at the Asian store. They were so good, guys. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. And I'll see you guys for dinner. After eating all these persimmons and bananas for my lunch, I was still hungry. So I had another 32 ounces of smoothie. This time I had strawberry banana almond smoothie, which I prepped yesterday as well. And that filled me up for sure. Then I had to go pick up my youngest one from school. And when I came back, I had my dinner. I do not eat late dinners. I would rather fast and eat a big breakfast the next day than eat a late dinner. Now. There are some exceptions, of course, when we go out or when we have a party, then yes, I will eat later, but usually I do not eat later than 6 p.m. And I mean, by 6, I should be done eating already. That way, when I go to sleep around 9 p.m., my stomach is pretty much empty and the quality of sleep is so much better. And I really take my sleep seriously. So, for dinner today, I had a quick salad with cashew cream and sauerkraut and black cumin sprinkled on top. By the way, black cumin is so tasty on top of either avocado or sauerkraut, so you guys should try it. And it is very healthy too. And also I had my leftover mushroom stroganoff with some white Thai jasmine rice. I also had my chia pudding as a dessert with a big 
handful of blueberries. It's something about this combination, guys. Crunchy, juicy blueberries and grounding chia seeds. They work so well together. So good, guys. So as you can see, I'm no longer fully raw, but I do consume a lot of calories from raw plants and I love it. Some days I still go fully raw, but sometimes I feel like eating something more grounded, like this mushroom stroganoff today. I do have a recipe for that on my channel. I will link it below, but in that recipe I used textured vegetable protein, which I did not use here. For this meal, I only used mushrooms, garlic, onion, cashew cream, dill, and vegetable bouillon cube. So that was my day, guys. Hope you got some ideas and inspirations from this day of eating. Please share your favorite meals in the comments below, as I'm always looking for inspirations myself and very curious to find new dishes. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.